Hey guys, Brock here, superfoodguy.com. I want to talk to you about digestion. I posted a couple videos a while ago uh, that talked a little bit about digestion and the importance. I guess I want to take it a little bit further. Um, so yes, uh, if you're interested at all in digestion, um, listen up. Literally, the foundation to good health starts with digestion. If you have bad digestion, chances are you have bad health. End of story. Because it doesn't matter what foods you are eating, okay, you could be eating the healthiest thing on planet Earth for the human body, but if your body is unable to, to digest that food and absorb that food into your blood and, and utilize that, you're going to have bad health because the reality is, is you're not absorbing the proper nutrients, therefore you don't have the proper nutrients in your blood to produce all of the reactions that have to take place on an internal level. So the reality is, 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 is that digestion, um, it's pretty much everything. So how do you get good digestion? Well, let's hold off for a second on that. Most likely if you have bad digestion, it's a combination of a few things. Um, it's your diet mainly. Uh, it's the diet that you are currently eating and the diet that you have been eating for many, many years that allows failure to digest for, uh, food properly for quite a while now. It's not something that happens overnight. It's something that happens over time. So in the long run, it's gonna take a while to kind of reverse it too, but um, it definitely can be done. So there's a couple things you wanna keep in mind. The, the three major components to digestion uh, is stomach acid. So when you eat a food, you chew it in your mouth, right? Saliva reacts and there's a few enzymes that break it down in there that start the whole process, but mainly when it hits your stomach, you have to have the right amount of stomach acid, not too acidic, not definitely not, uh, not acidic enough. There's a lot of people who have poor digestion, uh, what is it, hypochlorohydra, I believe, it's hydria, something like that. You uh, lack stomach acid, and this could be caused by infections such as H. pylori, um, but, but mainly, <laughs> Old age contributes to it. The older you get, the the, the less stomach acid you start to produce, um, and it's a combination of of, of eating poor uh, poor diets for a long time uh, that contributes to producing low amounts of stomach acid. So the reality is, is if you have low stomach acid, holy cow, that is going to have a trickle down effect on almost every aspect of your being. And I'm not kidding. So this is super essential to have good stomach acid production because if you're not digestion, if you're not digesting the proteins properly or whatever else the acids digest, it's going to go into your, go from your stomach, go to your lower, your upper intestine, uh, your duodenum, and uh, next to your gallbladder, that kind of thing. And if you don't have enough acid in your stomach, um, it's not going to digest that food, and therefore when it goes into your intestines, it's not going to be broken down enough to be able to be absorbed. So that's rule number one, you need good um, stomach acid. Number two is uh, enzymes. So there's enzymes that happen in a few different locations in your body. There's enzymes that happen, that take place and are produced and released into your food in the stomach. There's also stuff that, ha the enzymes that release in, in various parts of your uh, small intestine and I believe your large intestine too. There's a few different places that it releases. Uh, it's not so much so important to understand where, just understand that enzymes are produced and enzymes are required to break down your foods even more and absorb them. Uh, the third aspect, the third main aspect of your digestion health uh, is bile. If you're not uh, releasing enough bile, you're not breaking down the food all the way, so therefore you are not absorbing that food all the way. Your stomach acid has to break it down in a certain format. Your enzymes have to mix with that broken down food to start to start uh, breaking it down in its own way. Different foods require different things and then you have to have bile to neutralize the acid okay so you have a super acidic thing going into your intestines which will burn you to death and not really but it could it'll burn really bad um, and then you mix with your bile uh, to neutralize it uh, so it's not this ball of acid going through your entire intestines that would hurt like horrible coming out especially. Um, so you want to have enough bile to neutralize that acid so it's not burning you um, and B so it actually breaks down those foods that require bile to break down the food the rest of the way. So you have so many things that are happening and if one of those things are lacking then that one particular food is consistently not being absorbed so therefore you're going to have issues uh, with that particular thing 
being deficient in your body. So imagine that with all of the food that you eat, a huge portion of it not being digested, but digested properly. So therefore a huge portion is not being absorbed properly. So you can, you can understand the super, super importance of digestion and that has a trickle down effect on everything. So if you know anything about a hierarchy, that's my best way to explain things like digestion and health. I mean, digestion is like the top of the pyramid, the top of that hierarchy, um, because that contributes like the most to your health. Um, so it's super important. If you have bad, bad digestion, get it corrected, not like tomorrow, like today. Okay, get call your doctor, do whatever. But before you do that, keep this in mind. So there's a few things I want you to look at. And that, like I showed in the other videos, there's three major things. And I figured I'd get a couple of these so everybody knows. You can help your body out short term and relatively long term, but um, you wanna stop the problem. The problem is you're eating crap food, okay, for long periods of time. By crap food, I mean a Western diet. Stop cooking your food uh, that destroys the enzymes. Stop eating processed foods. Processed foods are atrocious. They, there's almost no nutrition left in it. When you heat food above uh, 115 degrees-ish, depending on the food, you'll start to break down certain proteins, enzymes. We're destroying our food. So we've, we've grew up in an era thinking that cooking our food is good because a, it kills bacteria. However, we need certain bacteria to live in our intestines. And if, and if we're not getting that bacteria in there consistently, um, we're not digesting properly, that's another thing. But mainly, we're destroying ev almost everything beneficial about that food. So therefore, we're constantly depleting our own nutritional levels uh, and our blood pulls it from our bones, pulls it from our organs, the nutrition. It starts to eat our own body, puts that in the blood so we can function properly. So it's really a huge, huge thing when you lack nutrition because of digestion. I mean, I could talk for hours about this topic. I'm sure a lot of people could. It's a bad, it's a bad cycle. So anyway, uh, before I get too sidetracked, what I want to show you is a couple things that you can do um, to help yourself long term. So again, if you have, you may have an infection that's causing this, get rid of the infection that's the problem. Get, you may be eating crap food, get rid of the crap food and start eating things that are designed by nature. Uh, okay, that's part of the problem too. So, and that all can be found on superfoodguy.com. Uh, I'm a nerd when it comes to food. Uh, however, I'm no saint, meaning I do eat a couple things, you know, that I probably shouldn't. But the majority of my diet is, is, is super clean. Um, and nutritionally dense, uh, low calorie superfoods. And so you should definitely get your hands on those as well. But um, so anyway, pepsin. So HCL, pepsin, hydrochloric acid, pepsin. This is something that's gonna help with your stomach acid. This is a, this is a Solar Ray brand. Brand is it super important. The standards of most companies are pretty high, they have to, in order to be put in a bottle and, and fed to the earth. The only reason I got this is because it has the highest uh, level of pepsin, I think on this one, it shows, yeah, pepsin is 162 milligrams. The, the, the capsule itself is 650 milligrams. Uh, so that was one of the highest that I could find of pepsin. Pe don't just take HCL by itself, make sure there's pepsin because you need the combination, the reaction to, to take place properly, but it's just a small little pill. Um, and the, the importance, you can buy pills, uh, this is important too, that are like little hard discs, um, and you could like hit them with a hammer and they'll crack, crack into a million pieces. No, if I open in this little granules little powder is going to fall over so that's why you want to buy the capsules not tablets tablets are bad they don't work properly capsules are what you want and you may run into just a side note i know this is a long video but this is super, super important you may purchase um, these and you may not have the results that you want right away because your if you have super low stomach acid you need a little bit of stomach acid to start the reaction to break the pill down itself to do its thing. So if you have super low stomach acid, uh, it may not work and you're gonna have that pill floating through your intestines kind of burning you and it's gonna hurt. So um, what you also do is drink quite a bit of water at the time that you drink this along with um, apple cider vinegar, vinegar tablets, preferably powder if you have it. That'll kickstart the reaction of the breakdown of this pill. Therefore, it'll start to work in your in your stomach as well and break down the foods that you want. I don't have any of those on me. That's in another video. Search my channel, you'll find it. Pepsin um, with HCL, that's what you want. This will help break down protein, protein, protein. So if you eat meat or eat, which you shouldn't, but if you eat meat um, or eat high protein sources and you kind of feel like crap, chances are you are low on stomach acid because you're, you're eating a whole protein. The protein is going in your intestines and causing issues because it's not properly digested by a protein. So make sure you have enough um, stomach acid. Enzymes, these are one of my favorites. Um, eat these if you go to a restaurant and you order something that you probably shouldn't eat, right? Um, eat these. Uh, I've played around with a lot of enzymes, um, like a lot. 
And th there's, a, there's one that I have on my website that seems to be one of my favorites along with this one right here. Uh, this is by now, so Super Enzymes. This, these are tablets. I didn't realize that when I bought it. Um, they're kind of hard, they work. Um, but there's also capsules that have like a powder. Powder seems to be better anyway. But uh, so there's one on my site, superfoodguy.com. There is these as well. These have a little bit of ox bile, which is a good thing. That's part of the reason why I get this one too. Um, so that's good. This, is a, this, this will help with digestion of pretty much all foods. Like go down the list, pretty much anything that you want to eat. Um, this will help break it down along with the stuff on my website. Uh, the other is um, bile. So. Um, this is a whole nother topic in itself. I'm not a huge fan of Western medicine, so I don't want to say too much to start an argument or anything, but um, the reality is, is if you have low bile, chances are you have gallstones, end of story. And if you have gallstones, you have stones that are starting to build up inside your liver itself. Because think of a think of little streams meeting in with bigger rivers, meeting into oceans. That's kind of how your, your liver works. You're starting to produce bile pretty much in the middle of nowhere inside your liver, and then it follows a trail to a bigger trail to a bigger trail, and then it eventually finds its way out of big river into your gallbladder, and it sits there until your stomach, you eat some fats and your stomach acid um, kind of passes by and it says, oh, and it goes and it spits out a little bit of uh, bile to react. So, but if it's loaded with stones, imagine you pack that thing full of stones from your driveway or out front, right? Pack it with stones and every time it squeezes, nothing really comes out. There's no bile in it because it's loaded with stones and what little bile is in it, it won't come out very well because it's it's loaded with stones. So it's kind of what happens. Uh, and the reason that you're getting stones is because your diet is poor uh, and therefore it doesn't have what it needs to, to absorb and reuse that nutrition and to form bile. So, which has a lot to do with um, proteins uh, because proteins break down into amino acids, which help there's certain amino acids that contribute to the formation of bile. So anyway, um, I know I'm a nerd. So this is one of many ways you can get um, bile in your diet. So again, you want stomach acid, you want enzymes, and you want bile. So if you're low in bile, which a lot of people are because a lot of people have crap diets, Western diets, therefore you're going to have um, issues with stones, gallstone, or bile. Um, so this is super important. So this would be if you are constantly going to the bathroom um, and it's super loose, super foul, chances are you have low bile and it hurts because um, the, the, you, have, you have an acidic chunk of food, your stomach acid reacted, it's going through your intestines as an acidic chunk of food and the exits in the toilet as an acidic chunk of food. And it probably is going to burn, you probably have bleeding, it's a weird topic, right? But that's usually what happens um, because you don't have bile being released or not enough bile being released. And so therefore, you're gonna have that issue and you're also gonna have the issue uh, of, of malabsorption. You're not absorbing the foods that they're not breaking down properly, uh, so therefore you're not absorbing them properly, so therefore you have, you have lack of nutrition to utilize in your body properly. Uh, so anyway, that's pretty much it. I wanted to share this with you. There's, there's a few things that make up proper digestion. Uh, Rewatch the video if you need to, but that's pretty much it. I don't wanna go into too much other, but if you have any questions, shoot them below. I'll try to, try to write back to you. But yeah, test them out. If you think, if you have, I mean, these, these are super cheap. This is like, this is like 15 bucks. This is like 15 bucks. This one's like 10. Just try it out. See if you feel better. If you, if you start to take these, any of these, one of these, three of these, whatever, start to take these and you physically feel better. That's a good sign. That's a good sign that A, you're going to feel better, but B, that your digestion is poor and you may not have known it before. And so you want to make sure you have perfect digestion, just perfect uh, as best as you can, because malabsorption is a huge, huge problem. We, um, as a country, in, at least in the States, we have access to so much food, but um, it's crap because of the, the, the processing that we do as a country, the additives that we put in there. And so we're so malabsorbed. And because of that particular diet, we're not getting what we want. So in our blood, it's not breaking down. And so therefore we're, we're not having the proper nutrition that's going to naturally produce these enzymes, naturally produce these stomach acids, naturally produce these, these bile salts. It's like this vicious, vicious cycle. And sometimes you need to introduce these to your body to prevent that from continuing. When you start to break down your foods properly and you start to absorb them properly, you're going to naturally start to produce these things on their own and eventually you shouldn't need those anymore. It takes time. Give it time, but uh, it should help. But anyway, Brock signing off, superfoodguy.com. I uh, hope you have a great day and uh, take care. I'll see you in another video. Be sure to subscribe. We've got more videos coming. Uh, adios. Take care.